What's up guys, Kawasaki here and today I'm going to be giving my first thoughts and predictions on Tokyo Joshi Pro Wrestling's Tokyo Princess Cup Tournament number 9. So the drawings happened last night at around 11 o'clock p.m. Pacific and what you see on the screen right here is pretty much a draw and how the brackets are going to work. So without any further ado, let me give, give you guys a little bit of a rundown. Of what's gonna happen so due to having commitments with Jersey Championship Wrestling and Game Changer Wrestling aka GCW Maki Ito as you can see is not participating this year she was the winner last year unfortunately she cannot defend pretty much her win in the Princess Cup and Mia Yamashita will be at Garden State Pro Wrestling July 23rd, hence, like, she's placed where she is. Otherwise, everything else has been randomly drawn. So, expect the unexpected. Anything can happen. Your pick may not even win due to an upset. But if I can give a little bit of a breakdown. So, how this works is on the 16th and 17th, there will be doing matches. 16th, 17th, and 18th, I should say. And so, in the quarter, so on the top left quarter, we have Shoko Nakajima taking on Haruna Neko. And the winner of that will be taking on Mizuki. And then Arisa Endo will be taking on Mia Watanabe. And those two, or the winner of those matches, will be taking on each other in the quarterfinals. Then... We have Mio Yamashita versus Hyper Masao, and the winner of that will be taking on Raku. And then now Kakuta versus Yuki Aino, and then the winner of that match will be taking on, obviously, like the winner of the other matches. Then we have Mahiro Kiryu taking on Yuki Arai, and the winner of that will be taking on Hikari Noah. Kayatori Bami will be taking on Yuka Sakazaki. And again, the winner of that match will be taking on the winner of the round two pick. Then last but not least, in the last quarter, we have Palm Harjuku taking on Moko Miyamoto. And the winner of that will be taking on Suzume. And the last match of the first round will be Yuki Kamifuku taking on Rika Tatsumi. And after those quarterfinals, they will be doing the semifinals August 13th and the finals the 14th. As you can tell, in between the quarterfinals and semifinals, there is some writing. The writing pretty much states that when the semifinals happen, the final four participants will be shuffled. So, let's say, for example, Mizuki and Mio Yamashita are the semifinalists. There is a chance they could not even go up against each other. It could be like Mizuki versus Yuka Sakazaki or Mio Yamashita take on Yuka Sakazaki. Again, I'm just naming examples. But that's how the tournament kind of works. And I guess I can give a little bit of my thoughts and who I think may come out the winner of this honestly this is really tough I had to look over this a couple times just to finalize my picks so for Haruna Neko versus Shoko Nakajima Shoko Nakajima will be taking round one and then Mizuki will be upsetting Shoko in round two then between Arisa Endo and Mia Watanabe I think Mia Watanabe will be taking round one and it will be Mizuki versus Miyu Watanabe in the quarters. And personally, I would want Miyu Watanabe to take the win over Mizuki. Yes, Mizuki is quite the favorite to win. She has won two Princess Cups. She could go for a three-peat, if anything. Just have that in the back of your mind. And then for the bottom left, Miu and Hyper Masao could honestly go either way. Hyper Masao can come up with an upset win and then take on Raku in the quarters. But I mean, me personally, I think Miu will pick up the win over Hyper Masao and Raku. And then between now Kakuta and Yuki Aino, I could see Yuki pick up the win. And obviously, Miu would go to the semis. Now go to the top right quarter. Yuki Arai is going to pick up the win over Mahiro Kiryu. And this one is kind of a tough one for me. But 
I could honestly see Hikari Noah pick up the win over Yuki Arai. And then between Kaitori Bami and Yuka Sakazaki, I honestly think Yuka Sakazaki is going to pick up the one on that. And Yuka is going to go to the semis. And last but not least, Palm Harajuku and Moka Miyamoto. I could honestly see Palm pick up the win on this. But then lose to Suzume in the second round. And between Yuki Kamifuku and Rika Tatsumi, I could see Rika making it to the quarters. And honestly, this is probably the toughest one for me to call. Because these two have, have had matches against each other numerous of times, especially during TGBW Inspiration. And it's kind of like a... Not necessarily like a teacher-student, but like... I guess somewhere along the lines of s some similarities. But I kind of... I honestly would want to see Suzume in the cool, in the semis. So my four picks would be... Miyu Watanabe, Miyu Yamashita, Yuka Sakazaki, and Suzume. Those would be my personal final four. What I kind of want to see would be Mia Watanabe and Suzume in the semis, and then it would be kind of it'd be kind of crazy to see us, but Miyu and Yuka in the semis, or even Miyu and Mia Watanabe in the semis, and then Yuka Suzume. Or you can do like Mia Watanabe, Yuka, and then Miyu Suzume. And then for the final two, it would be sick to see Miyu and Yuka duke it out to be the winner. Because they've had that story where it's pretty much a race to the ace. And it could be 50-50 on there. I'll be doing a follow-up video for when all the stuff happens. Like, I'll follow up at the end of the quarters and see how I pretty much did and how y'all did. But my personal two winners would be Miyu Watanabe and Miyu Yamashita. Those would be my personal picks to win the whole thing. Leaning a little more towards Miyu Watanabe, but Miyu Yamashita has, hasn't has won primarily due to the fact, at least in my in what from what I think, I think Miyu has been champion throughout the Princess Cup, except for, I believe, 2020. But she had a marquee match with Maki, Saray, and Aja Kong. But I could see Miyu win it and try to make an attempt to dethrone Shoko at Wrestle Princess. But I honestly do. Would, I would rather see Miyu Watanabe and Shoko Nakajima duke it out in Wrestle Princess. Because the winner of this tournament gets a shot at the Princess of Princess Championship at Wrestle Princess 3. So it'd be kind of a crazy match. But. Those are kind of my thoughts on the Princess Cup. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And let's see what happens from here. Good luck on your picks and your pretty much like your picks throughout the tournament. I can't, I really want to know what you guys are going for for this. Like I'm genuinely curious about it. So let me know down below who you think is going to win it all. Catch you guys in the next video and our live stream. I will be doing streams for the princess cup tournament rounds so catch y'all in there peace